All right, so we have a case of a YouTuber who has been allegedly selling fake Rolex Daytonas. We got a juicy one today. If you guys haven't been following the news, there's a YouTuber named Chris from Horology House. He's been accused of selling fake Rolex Daytonas and GMTs. Um, and so I'll try and summarize it for you really quickly. Um, this guy, he's got a big YouTube following and he's an admin of a, like a Rolex buy, sell and trade forum in Australia. And uh, he decided to sell a Daytona to one of the members, I believe. Uh, and so uh, the seller, the buyer, sent over 19,000 USDs for a Daytona, which flag number one, that is um, a little bit less than market value. So red flag number one. Uh, and so the buyer is waiting for the watch. Two and a half, three months later goes by, no watch. Um, the buyer asks the seller, this guy named Chris from Horology House, where's my watch? And here comes um, a slew of excuses. Uh, I'm busy, so-and-so, I don't know. Uh, and the shipping um, company actually lost the watch. So the guy says, where's the shipping number? No shipping number, excuse after excuse. And here's the golden excuse of them all. The Australian bushfires uh, have impacted his family, so uh, the watch deal is on hold right now. Uh, I'll get back to you later. Uh, sends the buyer a picture of one of the houses involved in the Australian bushfires, and the house actually ends up being uh, an image from Google. So he's using this tragic um, event uh, to make an excuse of uh, you know not sending this person. Uh, their Daytona. Um, so the buyer puts a little bit of pressure and Chris ends up sending him a Rolex Daytona. Uh, there are some pictures here on the Rolex forum of the box and of the watch uh, which is clearly a fake. Uh, and so the irony here is Chris has a huge following, he seems like such a nice guy, genuine guy and he's even made a video, a very good video about uh, dispelling uh, genuine from uh, fake Rolexes and so he goes into depth on how to distinguish the two uh, and now the guy is selling fake Rolexes and so I think a lot of people are, I've seen are defend not a lot but some people are defending Chris's position that uh, it's an honest mistake um, it could have happened to anyone blah 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 but I think given all those red flags like something smells really fishy and I'm charging him guilty um, this is just complete BS, you know, you're, you're involved in the watch industry, you're telling me you're not going to open the watch and check to see if it's real or, or fake or that it slipped through your hands or your, the cracks somehow, like I just don't buy that whatsoever. Um, and, and then just the last thing I'd say is, you know, um, Chris's channel, Horology House, uh, it's got some good content, uh, content is really high quality, but if you ever watch it, uh, it, everything just is very scripted um, and which just leads me to believe that just everything is very fake very calculated uh, when you hear him talk like it's as if someone's reading a high school play like a kid is reading a high school play and they're just trying to pronounce every word just so correctly with like an accent or um, you know all these different pitches it's just like an amateur actor reading a script for a high school play uh, and the shots are just just beautifully blurred and just the perfect lighting everything is just so perfect and it's just when things are so perfect it's just fake right so um, I don't know his channel just kind of rubbed me the wrong way I, I know that's uh, kind of a personal job uh, but uh, I mean the guy just stole 20k uh, which is a serious crime so I have no sympathy for him um, and and I know my channel is not like of the highest quality, but I think that's the charm is like there's, there's no studio. There's no setup. There's no Script It's just a one-shot one-shot take so that's what I'll say about that I think the whole the whole thing was fishy from the beginning. I feel sorry for the guy 
um, who bought it because you know there's so many so many sayings you know buy from people that you know buy the person not the not the watch um, and this guy really built himself an online presence and like a nice guy um, persona so uh, I could see why people would, would trust trust him with, uh, with selling them a Rolex Daytona so um, yeah, that's what I'd say about that, you know, like even my watch, I got it at, at the AD and uh, when I first got it, people were telling me I could have got it for you cheaper, a thousand bucks here, five hundred dollars cheaper there, and it's like, I, like I just don't care, you know, I'm, just, I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna buy it where I know it's real, um, and so I know you can't get a Daytona at the store, but um, you know, just I don't, I just don't feel comfortable sending that kind of money around online, especially through a wire, which is not insured. Um, so yeah, um, I could, might have gotten all the facts or some of the facts incorrectly here, but generally that's the story. Um, I find it just shocking that this guy would build this online presence and maybe that was part of the whole scheme is build this persona online where people trust you and, um, and then you just start defrauding nice and slow you know selling a watch here selling a watch there and there's, there's some other shady things that went on where as an admin he was deleting a lot of negative comments and uh and sort of paying people off who discovered they had fake watches saying like hey let's keep this hush hush here's a gift here's your money back uh i guess the only positive here he did seem to pay people back and refund them um but that's only because they spoke up so you know imagine you do have a watch that you're wearing from this guy um, I'd be checking if it was real or not. So those are my comments. See you guys.